in my experience there are two ways in which one can learn data science okay one is the long way and other is the wrong way we will take five scenarios and try to understand what will be the long way or the right way and the wrong way of learning data science or becoming better at data science or staying relevant in data science for longer period of time Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. First situation guys. Suppose I give you a problem statement. Okay. I tell you that. Hey, you know, um, this is the data of an organization marketing data. And from your data science knowledge, can you tell me what is the best marketing strategy for this organization? Okay. So here there are two approaches you can take. One is you try to understand the background of the problem statement. You try to understand the business. You try to understand these sub problems. You try to formulate a strategy of solving it. Then you go ahead and solve it. Then you prepare your recommendation. This is the long way. Okay. What is the wrong way? The wrong way is you go to Google and search for marketing analytics code. You go to Google and search for GitHub marketing analytics. You try to copy someone else's notebook and replace their data with your data. And you try to find something which you know, which you can submit if you are given an assignment or if you are working on a huge case that is the wrong way so in this situation or in all the five situations that i will explain now always take the long way if you have to study relevant in data science for longer period of time okay let's take second situation now you come from a background where you have not coded or maybe you are afraid of coding or maybe you are you are in a mindset that coding is very very difficult i can't do it and you want to learn data science okay so if i if i give you some coding assignment suppose i am your mentor if i give you some coding assignment right then the long way is it will be difficult for you to do coding i know that okay it will be difficult for you to do coding but you have to do coding why because without coding you can't stay relevant in data science industry for very long period of time so the long way will be getting your hands dirty getting all the errors in the code and then learning step by step how to code how to write small small code blocks how to do something in python this will be a long and frustrating way but this is the right thing to do what is the wrong thing and fast thing first thing is again you go to google you copy some code you copy someone else's notebook and you try to run it maybe in the beginning of your coding journey if you do this you will not be learning many things guys okay hence i am telling you this is the wrong way what is the third situation third situation is let's say i i give you an assignment let's take the first example only what is the best marketing strategy for this organization okay the long way is as i told you understand the problem and then go step by step and then there is no hurry to achieve the highest accuracy now when we start learning data science many people what they think is at the moment they receive or they get a very good accuracy that is you know that is the objective but believe me guys objective is not to get a very good accuracy objective is to get a good accuracy with an stable model with a scalable model with a model that makes sense and above all a model that is helpful to the business try to understand the difference guys the wrong way is chasing the accuracy and the long way is making a model which will help business even if accuracy is little low it should help business it should be scalable it should be tunable it should be reliable and building this is a long way it, it there is no shortcut for that you have to do lot of data analysis lot of things you have to do then only that model will be built and what is the fast way the wrong way just run some high end model throw the data at a, at a you know complex neural network it may give you a very good result so try to understand the difference guys the long way and the wrong way okay it will take you a long you know you will be staying ahead from the crowd whatever pointers i'm giving you okay that will make your profile look different from others profile hence i have i have kept here five pointers only okay try to understand what i'm saying here next point is i see many youtube videos and many channels talking just numbers numbers means somebody got one crore salary somebody got 1.25 crore salary somebody got 2 crore salary somebody got 75 lakhs somebody from zero salary to i don't know some numbers they will keep putting 
and on all those videos lot of views people are watching those videos why because you know those numbers are fascinating if i say if i tell you 2 crore salaries then you know everybody wants money right so that thing comes in the mind but believe me guys numbers are just a product of your skills okay so the long way is keep working on your skills now if you ask me i was a r person i mean r developer when when i started working in data science then i moved to azure machine learning then i moved to python i can do some high programming i can write some spark code some py spark things this is a very very long and frustrating way okay you need to keep learning new things keep learning new technologies upskill yourself tomorrow something else comes you need to learn that this is a long way okay but believe me guys you have to see a longer period of time in your career okay and this long way will reward you you have to you have to pass through that then only you will get the reward okay what is the short and quick way by doing something you know getting that 1 crore salary by doing something somehow getting a high salary now tell me one thing guys if even if you get 1 crore salary and your skill set does not sync up or your your contribution to the organization does not sync up with that salary do you think that's a sustainable thing do you think it can go for a very long period of time no there is no shortcut for success or even making money guys you have to grill yourself it has to go through that that you know long path and that is the right thing to do so long way here is keep learning things it will take time but it will be very fruitful in a long run okay and the wrong way is just running behind the numbers whatever is in trend learn it change job there is no stability there is no good profile there are no good projects in the profile it will not help you in long run okay and last and final point if you want to become a data scientist if if you want to stay relevant for longer period of time the long way is becoming flexible becoming flexible means if aman joins an organization tomorrow and aman is told to work on just python no machine learning no deep learning no data science just python aman should be uh, you know capable and comfortable in doing that if aman is told to work on unix or big data aman should be capable and comfortable if aman is told to work on some python data management some python data migration kind of work aman should be capable and comfortable on that okay what i am talking here is flexibility if aman is given a role which is more business oriented which is more consulting oriented aman should be comfortable with that as well so what i am saying is you should be flexible with your roles because in data science as i am telling in all my videos roles will be roles name will change and responsibilities will also change okay so be mentally prepared to be flexible in terms of your work in terms of your responsibilities and what is the wrong way here i will work only in machine learning i will work only in data science if you don't give me data science i will leave the job if you don't give me machine learning i will leave the job so see if if you are looking yourself let's say 20 30 years from now obviously in your basket there should be a bigger skill set right there should be a lo lot of skill sets lot of different flavors of projects some projects can be a simple dashboarding solution some projects can be a you know um, tableau kind of more 80% tableau 20% python some kind of projects if you work on multiple kinds of projects in multiple roles right that is where your value increases with time okay and if you say that no i will work only on machine learning i will work only on deep learning there is no deep learning in this project i don't want to work in this project that will not take you uh, you know in long run of your career that might be little uh, dangerous for you okay so guys with this five pointers i am trying to tell you what is the long way and what is the wrong way this is going to be very very useful i just want to tell you one more time guys in my course data science zero to hero i have kept all the python modules knowingly which will make you grill through python before going on to machine learning okay so there are 12 chapters for python which will ensure that you learn everything in python needed for data science before that i have not started machine learning so i have taken the long way there if you want to check the course check the link is right here i will paste the link in the description go and check the course if you want to take you are free to take that the independence day sale is going on you can take that discount as well okay so i will see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care please give me a thumbs up if you like this video okay